Scott from Two Traveling Texans and today we're visiting the 9-11 Museum. We decided to start out the day by coming to the 9-11 Memorial. You can see they've made a really inspiring tribute to the events of that day. We actually have two fountains, one for each building. And we have the name written along the side. So along the side, we have the names of the victims. And the 9-11 Memorial actually puts a rose in the person's name on the day of their birth. We're gonna see if we can find someone with a rose today. When you visit the Memorial, you're really aware of the sense of loss, the enormity of the events, and just the tragedy that took place that day. You can see the rose marking the birth date. So in addition to the names of the people that were in the building that day, there's also the names of the people that were on the airplane. So this right here is flight 93. The um, people, the crew, and the passengers that were on that flight that day. If you remember, that flight actually crashed in Pennsylvania because the passengers got word about the other hijackings and they overtook um, the hijackers and probably saved a lot of lives. We really don't know where that plane was headed. So another thing I wanted to point out at the memorial is they also have the names of those that were at the Pentagon. heroes, the first responders that day. So you may not know, but there was another bombing at the World Trade Center. It was back in 1993. And they also paid tribute to the victims of that incident here. Okay, so we just finished seeing the memorial. Now it's time for us to go inside the museum. September 11th, 2001. I'll never forget where I was. I was in a coffee shop in Knoxville, Tennessee. Watching my grandchild. In Ontario, Canada. I was driving to work at 545 local time. My office in Chicago at about 8 a.m. I hear my mother's voice say, we're okay. And I had no idea what she meant. And she said, oh my God, you don't know? The plane just crashed into the, the World Trade Center. Center just got hit by a plane. Somebody just flew the plane in the World Trade Center. So I quickly went online. I got a very, very frantic phone call from my mother. It was some close friend. My father called me up saying, turn your TV on now. And there was a whole bunch of us gathered. 15 or 20 people or so surrounding a small black and white TV watching this horror. And no sooner than I could blink. We all together witnessed the second plane hit the building. Silence hit the room. Watching them in silence. Everybody was silent. You could hear the pain from. We budgeted the block. That's why she started calling home. I called my mom. So I knew that we couldn't get through. We just wanted to look around and close to me. Then I wanted to gather all of us together. And I could have them safe with me. I'm so happy that I brought my son out of the school. I began to cry and to pray. I knocked down on my knees and said, I'm going to pray that my son would be safe. I prayed. It's very soft. I'm going to pray. 